Freedom! Today I want to talk to you about the top six things that you can do to grow your channel. There are possibly thousands of possible tips that you could use to grow your channel. Here we're going to cover the top six on my mind at the moment for your viewing pleasure and of course for your entertainment. Number six, if you want something, ask for it. Now this is one that has a plus side and a downside. If you want someone to subscribe, don't be scared to add a verbal call to action or even an on-screen tick so that people know to subscribe. Uh, this is something that you should get used to doing. Now, the plus side is people will do it if it seems organic and authentic. The downside, however, is that some people will be convinced to do these things but not necessarily be sold on you and your premise. They may also not fully understand what extra value you provide if they do that. So for instance, if I tell you to go and like our Facebook page, link down below, you may do it. However, you may not be very active on it later on because you just don't understand the value or what we do differently over there. Number five, very simply use the tools you have at your disposal. So here on YouTube, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use things like annotations, playlists, you're going to want to use things like cards. In fact, if you click that eye, actually there's probably not going to be an eye there because I don't really have anything to promote. Actually, yes I do. If you click that eye, it'll take you to a video where I'm doing a Deadpool Let's Play over on MGN. Number four, promote yourself. Now, whoa, 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 I'm not saying to spam yourself. I'm saying promote yourself. And here's the main difference. Anywhere you're promoting yourself, you're going to be a part of a community. Your videos, the things that you link, are going to be part of a discussion. So, for instance, if you happened to be discussing the values of animations and you happen to do an animation that pertains to the discussion, maybe link it as an example. Or if the discussion tends to be about, let's say, a specific level and someone not being able to get past it. If you're a gaming YouTuber and you've gotten past it, you've filmed it and you have a breakdown of how to do it, you can link to a specific time code that helps that person. Don't be spammy. Just be helpful. The more helpful you are, the better off you'll be. Also, keep this in mind. If you can imagine yourself yelling at someone for doing what you're about to do, you shouldn't do it. Number, I don't know, because I'm not keeping up with these anymore. Leverage the inbuilt social networking part of YouTube. That means things like featured playlists and featured channels. Uh, make sure that you feature creators that are very similar to you, that you talk to, that you work with. Remember, these are ways that you help show your community to others. Don't just do random uh, sub box for sub box or um, channels for channels or uh, playlist for playlist. Make sure that these are things that your audience is going to be interested in. And also, make sure that these are going to be places that maybe the other pe person might also see you pop up eventually. These areas are supposed to be about you and the people that you find valuable, the people that you recommend to your audience, not just trying to convince someone who's maybe twice your size to trade playlists with you or some such nonsense. You've got to keep in mind what's best for your audience. And also to some of you big guys, um, don't forget where you came from. If you find someone smaller than you who has a lot of talent, don't be scared to feature them. I don't care how small they may be. Number two, interact constantly. Don't just respond to comments whenever and wherever you can. Make sure that you are doing the best possible job you can of interacting with your community. This can sometimes mean featuring a comment and answering that in your video. If you're a smaller creator with a little bit more time on your hands, actually responding to each and every comment is probably a really good idea. One of the strengths of YouTube is the fact that that barrier between creator and audience is blurred and obscured 
in a very helpful way. So if you're just collecting comments and you're not giving any back, if you're just expecting people to mention you on Twitter and you don't actually actively reach out to other people, you're gonna have a bad time. Number one, create that aha moment. Now by an aha moment, trademark that to you. What I mean is that you should be creating moments of celebration, of epiphany for your audience. So for instance, if you've got a certain, I don't know, subscriber goal of 500 subscribers and currently you're at 300, once you hit a certain goal, plan something special for your audience. And you don't necessarily have to, ahead of time, say, I've got something special coming up, don't forget to subscribe. When you push an issue too much, it can actually turn an audience off. Remember, subscribers are people, they're not just Pokemon to be collected. Don't treat them as such. But. When you do have something worthy of celebration, if you're a larger YouTuber and your book is coming out, if you're a smaller YouTuber and you just recently opened your brand new Spreadshirt uh, shop, which you can do now through Freedom, you know, uh, on, the, on your dashboard, make sure to do something that feels organic and that lets other people join in the celebration. It doesn't even have to be on video if you don't want it to be. It can be a special Q&A on Twitter, or uh, interacting on other social medias, or, I don't know, maybe you would just leak some nudes on uh, Snapchat. I'm probably gonna get some hate over that one. Well, that's my list, the top six things you can do to grow your channel here on YouTube. If I left anything off, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to do more videos like this if you guys like the format, it's really it's easy for me to be able to put videos like this together, as long as you don't mind the strange background and, uh, of course, the, the shorter video format. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other.